11 days until Christmas, and one major cruise line launching a multi-billion dollar plan to reinvent the cruise industry. Get those travelers on board for the holidays and beyond. Edie Rodriguez is with us. She's the CEO and president of Crystal Cruises. She joins us right now. Good to see you, Edie. Great to see you. Thanks me. so much Thank for you. joining us. So tell us about this new launch. Well, we've got several new launches. So Crystal Cruises, as the world's most awarded luxury line, has two vessels today, and we sail the world from five nights to 128 nights, but we're launching our our yacht brand extension on Sunday in the Seychelles. Next July, our river brand extension with five river boats. And then we're also building three polar class vessels with 48 residents each. And then in July of 2017, we bought a Dreamliner and a 777, and we're launching Cruising in the Sky with Crystal Luxury Air for 28 <laughs> nights and 14 nights, respectively, wow. all inclusive. Beautiful. Wow. How's business right now? It's phenomenal. Yeah. It really is. We're very bullish on our brand, and the reason for all the growth is that we're able to catapult because business is so good. Do, wow. do you see the impact of the terrorism worries that we're all talking about every day? You know, believe it or not, we really don't, thank goodness, because, and in fact, one of our vessels was in Paris or near Paris the following day from the sad stories that occurred a few weeks ago. But our travelers are perhaps a little bit more sophisticated, well traveled and love wanderlust and want to see the world and as the top two percent of the world's wealthiest typically they are more seasoned and know that they're just going to not let terrorism affect their travel schedule. Mm -hmm. How about the just people, you know, again, it's really expensive to have your own yacht and fleet of, of airplanes. Um, I think most people know that. But isn't that part of this is that people don't want to incur that cost structure, but they still want to incur the, or at least have that kind of experience? Sure. It's all about options. So first of all, we have many guests that own their own yachts, that own their own oh, airplanes, wow. but yet they still choose to cruise on us or to purchase or to charter on us. So it's very nice because then they have the option, if you will. But uh, we just have aspirational travelers as well that perhaps aren't in that bucket, but aspire to experience the world in a luxurious manner. That's but on cool. the security issue, it probably helps you actually in a way, I mean in a perverse way, maybe or it sounds perverse, because it makes you, you know, it, it's more secure, it's more private, <laughs> it's more focused and less, maybe less susceptible to the risks. Well, at All Things Crystal, we have a mantra, as does the cruise industry, and that is always safety first, safety for the life of our crew, our guests, yeah. our vessels. So we take really, really stringent measures. We go beyond what we are required to do by law, and as well, we do a myriad of things that we do not disclose publicly for obvious security right. reasons. So it's just a sad reality of today's living. It's the new normal. And as a business and a for-profit business, we always want to ensure that we provide the, the uh, best which possible. Ri which security. rivers do you got? Am I, am I going to be able to go up the Amazon? <laughs> well, not Tell initially, them. not initially. <laughs> no? But with our river brand experience, we're starting with the Main Rhine and Danube. Okay. Initially. So we're right through Europe. Yes. By the way, what's Europe. the? It sounds like you have a very high-end uh, demographic as far as your customer. Give us an idea of a price for exactly. a trip. For example, a river cruise. Well, a river cruise would start at about $7,000, which is not exorbitantly expensive, as would our yachts. Of course, the airfare and how you choose to get there yeah. is on top of that. But then we go right up to, as an example, an 89-night world cruise yeah. would be a half a million dollars per couple, and that's just what they spend to wow. get on. Wow. And then they spend a lot more while they're food on. Food is yeah. extra. And, and, <laughs> no, food is not extra. No, that's all. We're an all-inclusive all brand inclusive. experience. <laughs> 24 million people will sail in 2016. Well, that's, that's correct. That's what we got to do when we retire, Marie. Exactly. exactly. God forbid. Well, it's a great way to holiday, so yeah. people should call their travel agent and that's book awesome. all things Christmas. When we live to 120. Mark yeah. Sorrell, oh. final comments from you this morning. Um, uh, well, next year is going to be, I think, we, we had a record year last, what, four years uh, after a, a really tough nine. Uh, 10, recovery in 10. Uh, but I think it's the, the new normal, uh, Maria. Uh, GDP growth three and a half to four. Our revenues will grow by a little bit more than uh, three plus, or revenues by about four to five, and net sales by three plus. It'll be tough, but uh, I think we'll have another good year next year. Martin, it's been great having you on Thank the show. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Martin Sorrell. Edie, good to see you. Thank you. Uh, we'll great be uh, watching you. the business uh, in 2016. Edie Rodriguez joining us there. Martin Sorrell for the hour as well. We'll be right back. We're